Hello everyone, welcome to Gaming with a Dad. I'm the dad, Steve. Who? This is Zach, the gamer. You use that controller, Steve! Thanks everybody for watching. Alright, Steve. Here we are. Alright. What's up, Zach? Uh, you're just gonna start yelling at me. A mm, yeah. little aggressive off the bat. I like it. I like it. I like it. You gotta keep that energy through this entire video here. So Hi, my name's Steve. <laughs> <laughs> We're continuing the trend from last week of pre-recording video and then talking over it. I actually kind of liked that. Um, last week was more of a necessity. What happened last week, Steve, that we we were caused to to come up with this new creation of uh, gameplay commentaries? Uh, well, so basically after, what was it, two hours of video on both our sides? About an hour 45, yeah. Yeah, hour 45. Uh, <laughs> I went to go upload the video. Everything looked fine. I should have noticed right away that since there wasn't a, you know, a preview picture, there might be something wrong. But yeah, I was tired, <clears throat> so I just went for it. But then after uploading it twice, and I was like, man, what, the, what is going on, dude? I look at it, and uh, it's four point five gigs of nothing. Of nothing, yeah. So we had a crop file. I know we kind of touched on this a little bit last week, but we're gonna kind of go a little bit in depth of of where our um. Uh, our content is heading and, and where we're kind of kind of sitting at with it. Um, yeah. So that corrupt file kind of sparked this idea of let's just talk over this gameplay. Let's let's get a few topics together, talk over the gameplay because really our content is better in long form conversation, right? There's still the aspect of trying to get better, and you guys will see this later on in, in this week's videos. Um, the gameplay you're watching now is probably Rainbow Six. Uh, and then we'll use probably one video for that and then go into the Call of Duty gameplays after that. We played 2v2s for, what, like an hour, hour and a half almost? Definitely um, a lot longer than Rainbow Six for sure. Yeah, we're going to do the first video of Rainbow this week. The Rainbow was not good. We were both not good at Rainbow. It just wasn't a <laughs> Rainbow day. Really, it's not really indicative of kind of the gameplay that I like to put out there on the internet. But we did that and we went and played 2v2s for the first time together. Um you know, a few weeks after the game has come out, and and we had a good time. As much as it was really stressful, because uh, we, we only got we only managed to get one win, but this kind of sparked the idea of we wouldn't be able to have that conversation it, it, during that gameplay. So we yeah. pre-recorded and then decided we were going to do this over it, which I actually I kind of like this. I, I don't like having to record two nights or three nights a week now, but. You know, this doesn't mean we're going to not do the Borderlands stuff where we talk during it and have a full conversation throughout, you know, an hour and a half or two hours of of uh, gameplay. But definitely, like, these are going to be mixed in there because these are these are just as fun, I think. No, yeah, absolutely. Um, also, it takes a little stress off, right? Yeah, you don't have definitely. to be as as sharp during those. Yes. Oh, man. It's, you know, Borderlands, it's like second nature, like playing and just, there's really no rhyme or reason to that game, right? There's some shit happening. There's some people getting powers, sucking other people's powers out. Not important. Not playing for keeps. <laughs> yeah. COD, no way I would have been able to talk. And it's funny because we were actually talking while we were playing. But it was not it was intelligible. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was mostly like, <laughs> like, it was really, it actually got to the point where when one of us died, we were just calling out the other position, right? Like, which right. is exactly what you should be doing in a 2v2 scenario like that. And I think I even like was able to coach you through a few kills. Like, nope, he's going to be ADS. Oh, he's going to come around that corner right now. Okay, there he is. Okay. Right. Like, I think that happened a, a few times during the gameplay, but. Yeah, I mean, this is this is definitely this allows us to play more games as well because there are games out there that you know maybe we don't have time to record on Monday nights, and I could just record an hour and a half worth of stuff and and throw gameplay of a different game up, right? We could do that with like a Pokemon, we could do that with anything, right? So and we could always go back and do these over it. That's a good point. Um, I will say I, there is a new goal I've set for myself. Okay. Once we were playing, I want to get that fast almost uh salesman talk i hear people pl using when they're playing con like he's up right dude he's up right he's up right uh, up. <laughs> i'm like whoa i want to talk that fast how do we get there we got to know the game first right so a, a lot of what i can get a lot of my information and what i can give you and when i i don't know if i would call it salesman talk but i'm trying to i'm trying to flood you with information to be able to give you the 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 ability to get that kill that we need right the it's a game of information i think right you need to have as much information as possible to outsmart or outplay your opponent what i'm doing is i'm giving you years of experience 
of knowing where a guy is going to move, how a guy is going to move after you do something. So that's more or less what I'm doing. I'm giving you the most information I can at any given time. Um, but the only way to really get that is to have played so much of the game that you know the way that other people are going to think when you shoot at them. Salesman is not what I meant to say. Uh, I know what you meant. What's the auctioneer, that guy. Auctioneer, that's, that's yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't guy. think it's, I don't think it's that bad, but there are. No, mo- I think it's great, man. I was just thinking, did you watch any of the Crim Six? Uh, yeah, I watched. Uh, I've watched, you know, hundreds of hours of scrims. Not even in just this game, but in every COD, yeah. right? I've been watching professional Call of Duty for years. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I've. Yeah, when I play with an actual like team and we're in a competitive setting, we all do the same thing, right? Whether right. it's because, you know, Arks and Pat come from a Counter-Strike background and me and Shannon Reggie come from a Call of Duty background, right? We have this idea of what's going to happen next and we're giving the other people the information that they need to succeed, get that kill, get the win, get the cap, whatever it is, right? That's what it is. It's a team game based around communication. Um. Have you ever listened to any of the communication uh, for the Rainbow Six players as well? No, I, I have so little interest in competitive Rainbow Six that it would probably, I would I'd watch it for 30 seconds and be bored. But I'm sure those guys are probably incredible at it, right? It's nothing against them. It's just not my cup of tea. You know who's really great at it? Your man, Wings of Redemption. Oh, man, he's a great communicator. I mean, He's the worst, dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm obviously being sarcastic. No disrespect to Wings of Redemption. but Massively sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he is like, oh, that's my new guy. I watch him every night before I go to sleep. Oh my but- god, you're gonna be, you're gonna be so. How, you do wake, do you wake up significantly more angry, like day you in day what? out? There was a general gray tone to the day today. <laughs> <laughs> just walked in, nothing had color. <laughs> you wanted to start just throwing hands with everybody. Yeah, right, let's, let's do it. I'm in. Man. I watched a an interesting video on. Uh, on Call of Duty today that was not the kind of content that we would create because it's like a lot of data entry and there's a lot of like background work on it rather than just like, you know, fun chatting and, and, you know, comedic value. But they broke down whether or not there is skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Do you know what skill-based matchmaking is? No. It's like a ranking system, right? Jiu-Jitsu does this perfectly. Yeah. White belts roll with white belts and may probably a step above right to learn right but right. you don't put a, a white belt and a black belt together because we know how that's going to go every time right right so in games there are ranking systems and skill-based matchmaking where you put people in the same you know bracket or the same um uh bell what is the sections of a bell curve called anyway okay. You put them in the same like little area of how good they are and p- right. put them against each other, right? So the better you are, the better people you're going to play against. The worse you are, the worse people are going to play against. A lot of people think that that's really heavily in this game, but there was a, a, a few guys who went in and played on a bunch of different accounts with a bunch of different um, skill levels. Like They based it off of kill-to-death ratio, um, and they could not prove that there was any skill-based matchmaking in the game and it was it was really interesting to watch because there was a lot of data entry a lot of numbers behind the scenes um it was it was really cool i I mean it would be content that i'd love to be able to make but that's like that's like when it's your job you make this kind of stuff no i get you well well, actually that's kind of not concerning it's not the way it's interesting for sure so if there's no skill-based matchmaking that means beginners are just running in with experts at any given time in any lobby in any game correct pretty much yeah <clears throat> so let me ask you this question when we were playing rainbow six last night how did you personally feel knowing that that one old <laughs> op leveled guy was playing in that game with us yeah i mean it didn't really bother me that much just the fact that he wanted to talk like he was really good and right. like try to like prove a point about how good he was against people who literally just started playing the game. That's the only thing that makes it frustrating, right? I don't care if you're better than me. I care that you're going to try to push it in my face. And that's the only thing. That's what that nothing, guy was doing. There's nothing like an abusive player, man. I'll tell you that much. That's, exa- that's exactly what he was. And <laughs> it, it was. This is what you guys are seeing now. Probably going to have to blur the chat. Someone in the game. I don't know who it was. 
got a little aggressive towards the guy after the guy had said something. But it really, you know what? It, it is what it is. Um, but let's uh, let's push on to our next topic, Stevie.